right, so the first vacuum I had looks like the belt stopped working. So I'm using my second vacuum. Metal charger book bias cover. We use these ones for a reason. That's what it's going Getting all this hair up. I've only done one room, but just so the vacuum can keep up with the suction. Look at that, see all that good stuff? Just so the vacuum can keep up with the suction, I'm going to uh, empty it out with you here by each room. Just to show you how much pet hair is literally inside this carpet. See, look at that ball of hair right there. All right, so I'll take this. We'll bring our trash bag to us. Unplug it so it doesn't turn on. As that we don't use these on our, we only keep these to strictly to these turnovers because of this. this is, I mean, you would be surprised the stuff we vacuum up all day. Put their hand in there. Look at all that. All that mess there. Look at all that in there. Yuck. That's why we wear gloves. Look at that. It's all pet hair. That's the odor you're smelling. A lot of people don't know, really, when you're smelling that odor in your carpet, I mean, it can be the, from the pet, you know, peeing and, you know, having accidents on there. But mainly it's all the, uh, it's from the dander. The hair lingering in the carpet. Look at that. Look at all this hair on there. That's just one room. It's falling off there. That's just one room. Wow. All right. Second video, I want to stop it right here. Uh, I'll get right back with them and put this thing back together something. All right. Now, I started here at 8.30. Just with the, uh, had to do a little touching up. So I really started these carpets at 9 o'clock. And I mean, now it's, it's been almost an hour. All right. We're at 9.40 right now. Okay. Let's see what they got very tedious um of course there's an extra charge on our client here uh, just because of how bad it is if you're a person that's watching this because you're a cleaner or you're looking to get into the business you never want to give away uh your time all right especially when you know what you're doing and you're doing it correctly and the right way all right and you have people out here that you know they'll say oh, i'll do the whole carpet for a hundred dollars and you know they get there and it's three hundred dollars but you know they didn't even do a good job, all right? That's called bait and switching. We're out of the upfront. We tell you exactly what we're gonna do, so that makes it different. But also, if your time is worth everything, especially when you know what you're doing, all right? I'm not telling you to go in here and, you know, charge you a lot of money and, you know, do a subpar job, or you, this is the one you know what you're doing, all right? If you're gonna deliver these results. This place really smells. I'm cleaning the floors twice, all right? I'm making this thing worth it. It's already been an hour. Normally it takes me an hour or 30 or 45 minutes to do a carpet cleaning and it's done correctly right the first time. But this one is going to take a little bit more detail. As you can see, I got two pads over there. So I'm using more material than normal, okay? So all that's coming into consideration here. Got my extra battery only because, you know, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of spraying, respray, get this thing right. I'm using two different solutions. All right. You never want to give your services away for free is what I'm getting at, all right? That's when you're a small business and you're just trying to grow just like everyone else. And this thing doesn't sound like it's sucking anymore. You can hear the difference in the vacuum. So I'm going to do another vacuum dump. Throw that thing, screw that thing. That's just the living room alone. Oh my, this is really, look at that. Look at that, look at the vacuum popping out. That's just on the living room. It's just popping out of there. 
O, adios mio. Let's just start with the top here. Let's just pop this thing here. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Holy smokes. Look at that, oh my gosh. You can make a jacket with that thing. Anyone need a fur coat? <laughs> a fur coat. Clean this out, comb it out. Oh, look at this in here. Ooh. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Ooh. Got a nice warm coat. Too bad it's springtime now. Well, it'll be spring next week because uh, we can have ourselves a fur jacket. A new fur jacket. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dropping some extras. We'll come back and get that. Got some more hair chilling. Look, look, chilling. Things chilling. There's hair everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is freaking hair. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Oh, fur coat. There's your fur coat. I'm actually going to move this to the room. All right, so we got it all vacuumed. Looking good. Most of the hair is up. Our pad is going to pick us up. And you're going to be like, oh, what are you doing? You're cleaning with just a pad. This pad is used up. We can get about, it's probably about 3,000 square feet, but we're going to go ahead and try to absorb some more. Then we're going to use the second pad. You know, like, what are you doing? Cleaning with the pad. Where's your hoses? Where's your water? Well, if you watch any of my, my YouTube videos, you know we don't use any. We use water. But we use a lot of moisture, okay? That uh, steam cleaner, people are going to get mad. It is a thing of the past. That's right. Thing of the past. Steam came out in 1969. Uh, one of the guys named Mark, Mike, Mike Palmer, Hydra Master, he went ahead and uh, made that thing, 1969, jet engine mechanic, all right? He wanted to come out with something. We're in 2024, all right? <laughs> 2024. Long way from 69, buddy. You know, that's one of my favorite years. I love that 69 Camaro. Vroom, vroom. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my new battery in because it looks like the other technicians from yesterday left it on. So... Batteries drain, but I want to go ahead and fix this here. And I'll get back with you. All right, guys, got the sprayer going. I'm gonna put the thing on here. Let's see. Droppy drop. Droppy drop. All right, we got the sprayer going. I'm only gonna do half the room. Oh, this spray's going a little crazy. Spray's going a little crazy. I'm gonna turn the thing down. That's the solution in here. It's the oxygen. Go ahead, popping it up. Really messing up the hinges, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. So here we go. Get that little area right there real good. All right. Put our pad over here so we can get started. Look at this here. This here. Oh, man, this thing's going crazy. Look at all these little poo stains. And my other cleaners won't get all this up. This is the top first cleaner. All right. This is the first carpet cleaner. I got to fix this here, the sprayer. All right, so here we go. It's the first cleaning pass we want to do. Yes. Have you seen that stain? What stain? You know how my carpet cleaner's doing. It's like, I said, this is the first one we're doing. 
get all the stuff up out of here. I'm going to do a second pass at the cart with the other thing. I just want to be there. Look at that. See him? No, where is he? Golf crew. I think it's dog poop. You see the dog poop? All right, check this out. Huh. This isn't even our pet cleaner, all right? This isn't even my pet cleaning solution, okay? Yeah, that's right. My solution. I uh, make my own stuff here. I actually mix a couple of things together. All right. That's why that sprayer, seeing if I had that sprayer, had that Teflon tape on it. Well, when I mix two different solutions together and add a couple other things to it, and it does, it just increases and boosts, it boosts the pressure. <laughs> so if you're gonna be using it for extraction, it's great. You're gonna be using it for uh, our hot water extraction, I should say, or steam, it's great. It just adds the punch to it. All right, so your hot water extraction. If you're pushing, what, let's just say 100 PSI, I think you're gonna be coming out about 150 PSI, just on the solution alone, okay? That's just something to keep in mind for my people that are watching some carpet cleaners. This out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's test this here. Look at that. I'm gonna hit this again a second time, keep that in mind here. See, look, like there's more hair going that one side of that. See that extra stuff bumping over there? That's hair. It's picking up more hair out of the carpet. You're like, well, I don't know how you're getting it up, how you're getting the dirt up. Well, you can see the dirt on the pad right now. All right. So, it's the process. And it's a little scary at first. Everything we do is scary. Now, I'll stop spraying right here, so I'm going to stop right here. Look, look at this extra hair on there. See it all on the sides there? Yeah, it's extracting it out. This is extraction. And what are you extracting? Then I am extracting. We are extracting here. All right, so I'm gonna hop over here, do this room. I still have another cleaner at another unit. I gotta get rid of this vacuum. Which is pretty much almost done. This thing spraying. I can see how I'm changing my sprayer too, so it's not hitting the one the window I just cleaned on my team clean. All right, I don't have it this way. I have it this way, so it's spraying away from all the windows. All right, little things like that. It's little things. Right. Yeah, I'm getting it on the wall, but hey, it's not going to damage our paint. My stuff doesn't damage paint. It doesn't damage pets. Doesn't damage you lovely little kids. We're gonna try not to get it on the wall, but it doesn't leave speckles, it dries all the way. And they're probably gonna repaint all this anyway, so. Oh, it's turning your machine off. You're not wasting your battery. Let's check this out.
God, look at that. Looking good. That's halfway done. Look at it already. There were stains all over here. All that good stuff. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause this here. And uh, I got to mix some more solution and get the rest of this stuff there up. You go. See? That's all the stuff that's been taken out on that one side. Do the second process. I'm going to do another clean with the pet cleaning. As you see, all the stains came up besides this one here, like some poop stains, some gum. I'll get that up with something different, but all the pet and urine stains, they're all up. But now I'm going to hit it with the, with the deodorizer treatment. Yeah, that thing really. So this is my up. second process here that I'm doing here. This is for the odor, the dander smell. All right, this is really going to get the stuff up here. This is um, has a peroxide in it, which is really going to disintegrate. All oh, this is why I've got my vacuum here. I'm spraying this down pretty heavy. Normally I don't lay this down like this, but I'm spraying it pretty heavy today. I'm gonna eat the odor. As long as it's wet, that peroxide's still gonna work, all right? There's a little trick. If you got peroxide, guys, you're out here cleaning stuff. Um, they are saying peroxide. I'm not talking about the peroxide you get your, you know, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, or whatever you're at. All right, the store, this is different peroxide. This stuff's like 95, 90, 80% straight peroxide they put it on your hands it's going to turn your hand white and it's going to burn and uh you're going to start looking like michael jackson all right it's going to burn you you turn you white like michael but anyway so just putting this on here letting it sit for about good five ten minutes here let it really work itself in and then i'm going to uh go ahead and extract as you see i got my sprayer down pretty low so it's really working it into the fibers here I'm penetrating it real deep inside there and um so that way we get rid of this odor now, our carpets normally dry within two hours at the longest, but this, it's gonna take about three or four because I'm really getting it wet. I'm trying to get it down to the padding, all right? See, I'm going to the window. I'm not spraying the window that way, all right? Look at that. Woo! getting this stuff in here. I'm really laying this down. spray ahead i'm laying this down so thick i'm just spraying ahead all right i don't have to worry about that on this particular one this one is bad all right bad 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 yeah. right, i'll put this down i'm gonna finish spraying this whole thing here I'm gonna get to my next one. All right, as you see, I got my deodorizer down. It's all sprayed here. Uh, this is the pet deodorizer, let me say that. Uh, there's a difference between using a regular deodorizer, making it smell good, and then using the pet deodorizer, which has that enzymes in there. We're going to break this up. We practically saved this carpet. I mean, this thing looks great. And I told you guys, I got here at what, nine o'clock? All right, let's see what time it is now here. Uh, 10.30. All right, come on. All right. So, this, I mean, you can just see the difference in this carpet. All right, this is the second pad, new fresh pad. Still got some stuff being pulled up here. It's looking good. And I mean, I just got hit this thing with the vacuum here. And this bad boy is ready to go. Completely clean. Looks amazing. I mean, this is beautiful. I don't know how long this person lived here. I said this is an eviction, so this was pretty freaking bad. Lost part of my glove. This was really bad. I had the video I'm gonna add in here at the beginning. But, um, oh my. This thing came out nice. 
pretty sure this complex is going to be pretty happy with uh, what we just done here. I mean, we just saved the money. <laughs> and I could do that for you too if you're a property manager, property owner. I mean, you see this, you see this thing, and you know anybody too. If you see my video and you're in the local central Pennsylvania area and you're like, hey, my business can use you or my office can use you, um, you know, <laughs> I'll give you. Um, you know, a finder's fee or whatever you want to call it, commission, whatever. You know, we'll appreciate people sharing the word of mouth with us. Share this video too, like, and share, subscribe. I mean, you can see the floor clearly. I mean, it's just a great job. Remember, we didn't use any steam. Steam, it's one of the, listen, wet the carpet, wet the padding, get the smell in there, it'll come back up, it'll wick. And you're like, well, what's wicking? Wicking is where, you know, you clean it, and all the stains come right back up to the surface. That doesn't happen with my, with my products here at all. Never. Hasn't ever happened. I have people call me and say, hey, this happened. And I get there and they're new stains. Because you know why? I make videos of all my stuff. So I can tell if it's a fresh stain or a new stain. This here. I mean, just look at this thing. All those stains are gone. Beautiful. It took a little bit of time. Well, this is what you got. This carpet is going to dry, like I said, two to three hours. Still not going to take all day. You know, summertime, it's even going to get even better. It'll dry even faster. Smells good already. Now, I don't know if you can hear me. I was sniffling and coughing. I'm not even coughing anymore because I got all that dander and all that dirt up. And that part, I'm going to have to hit something different. I mean, just a little bit. This is why I clean. This is what I love doing. Saving money and replacing carpet and just really just saving it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. As you can see, all these stains came up. Um, I got to hit these with something special over here. I get this pour it out of the way. So that needs something special. This needs something special here. So uh, stay tuned. I'm back and show you these stains. They're going. All right. There is something nasty here. That's going. Okay. I'm going to hit this one more time. So I just hit it. Look at your guy. Look at this company. Be clean professional. Be clean, boy. Now look at this thing. Woo! I love it. We really brought this carpet back here today, folks. I'll tell you that. This carpet came back. Bounce back, bounce back. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. All them urine stains going. Do you believe this is eviction? Wait till I show you the video. Let me see the video before. Oh my goodness, you did that? Oh yeah, we can do the same thing for you too, folks. That's right, one-stop shop for all your cleaning needs, carpet, surfacing, whatever it is. We get it all done in one-stop shop, baby. Be clean professionals. Delivering peace and results, as you can see, give you a fresh start and a new beginning. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. I would have saved some time had my employees did a little bit of cleaning. I would have been out here an hour. But I'm not mad at this at all. Two hours, whatever it takes to get the job done and get it right. That's what we're going to do here.
got some spots we want to really touch up here. Let me see that right there. We want to get those again. I'm actually going to leave this area. I want to come back and grab that. It's a good thing about vacuum. You can see the low imperfection. We get it done. If all the other stuff came up, this stuff's going to come up too. I got my sweat going. I got my sweat going. Oh my goodness. That's how you know you're working. If you're sweating, you're putting in the work. Uh, folks, we put in the work, yes, sir, every day. Backing myself out of here. I got a little bit of fur in here. Like I said, I want to get these, and I'll put this up for a reason. See that little, little bit of poutine right there, a little dry poutine. She needs a big thing here. A little bit of there, a little bit of there. Right, and I'm gonna agitate this here. I'm not gonna break out the machine. And I'll show you how good my stuff is here with this. I agitated it and look what I'm doing now. So take it, there's a microfiber guy. That's right. Hey, well, you're not cleaning. Yes, I am. My stuff is so good, this is all you need. And it extracts it inside the rag, all right? That's how good my stuff is, all right? I'm gonna throw that away because it has Puritan on it. I'll wash my hands later. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit this up and look, you tell me. Proof is in the pudding. You tell me. Does that look cool you there? Come on now. Oh, it's good. Look. 
Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're going back on my way out of here. We're going to check on our other employee at the other unit. She's over here cleaning. We got a new, new employee starting the day, and she's over here on the test trial. We gave her a good checklist. All of our cleaners at our house cleaning. If you're looking for house cleaning, main service, or house cleaning, and uh, hey, I tell you what, we're your one-stop shop. I got cleaners. And what they do is they go ahead and they uh, they're using checklists, all right? So nothing's gonna be missed. Everyone gets a checklist, all right? Check this out. Look at those carpets, man. Where they were before to now, I mean, I can't complain about this at all. This thing looks beautiful, beautiful. This is the stuff that fell in, sweat's dripping. So, save them some electric. We're out of here. All right, guys. Brandon with Be Clean Professionals. If you like to see, give us a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment. Tell us what you want to see. Uh, we're going to try to cater to you. Get all your stuff that you need here. And uh, we'll try to share some more stuff with you. And uh, try to cater to your needs. And that's what we are. That's how we are. We're working for you. All right. We care about profit, but we also care about doing it right. And uh, make sure we get everyone clean at affordable, fair price. So, uh... Go ahead and like and subscribe. If you like what you see, give me, let me know. And you want to see something different, let me know. And we're going to get it done. Thanks. See you next time. I'd like to show here in our video that our logo does have a meaning. If you've seen the video in the beginning, the dove brings it back. Uh, Olive Branch represents peace and also a new beginning. Uh, the carpet wand is actually what I started with five years ago. So you got your carpet wand and your peace symbol. So every time we're cleaning someone's home, we're, we're coming in your home with peace. All right. We're giving you a peace of mind. You don't know us. We don't know you. But we're coming in there I'm representing peace and give you some fresh new beginnings. Um, once we go ahead and clean, you know, uh, some people don't clean because maybe they have mental health issues or they're not getting stuff done. We want to make sure we give you that fresh start. But one thing I do want to let you know here is that uh, while we're also cleaning, I didn't show this part. OK, uh, we come into your home. We let you know when we're on our way. OK, uh, this notification has been sent. We let you know when it's finished or when we started and when it's all done. We can send you that, that um, email or this invoice. 